The film takes place in the tropics. Between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, I mean. A rich guy has spared no expense on a project. Spared no expense. He used up his entire fortune building that railroad of his. And it's about to make him go bankrupt. A firm sends someone over to investigate before the rich guy bleeds through his whole budget. There's a main character in the movie named John. John Clayton III. John Hammond. John finds a golden colored rock. John has the golden colored rock changed into an ornament and it symbolizes how human beings would rather use nature as an ornament than appreciate nature the way it is. Another clear example of John sticking a middle finger up to mother nature is the part where he opens up the eggs indoors instead of letting it hatch naturally outdoors. But anyways, after a native is brutally murdered in the wild for doing something they had no business doing the victim's family blames the white guy and wants revenge we are facing a 20 million dollar lawsuit by the family of that worker to solve the matter the character with the labor day outfit and the safari hat invites a couple to the place the native was killed accept leopold's invitation I tell you, why don't you come down, just the pair of you, for the weekend? When we first meet the couple, the man is scaring little kids with a horrific story, and you think he's a horrible father figure. You pray to God he never has kids of his own, but God probably doesn't speak the same language as you, because his love interest gets baby fever, and she wants to make a baby before the credits. Personally, I'm not crossing the street unless you tell me what's on the other side first. These idiot characters make this long trip without knowing what for, and that's just plain stupid to me. But I get it. They're in it for the art, they're in it for the culture. Meanwhile, one of the greedy people only cares about the money. The rocks from the beginning are valuable and it's going to make them a lot of money. We're going to make a fortune with this place. You'll get stinking rich. A great meme once said, he who wants everything every time will lose everything anytime. And the quote is true because the greedy man ends up losing all of his body parts when the reptile eats him up later in the movie. Earlier in the movie where all hell breaks loose and the good guys lives are in danger, if there's anything I learned from Deep Blue Sea, Avengers, and Captain America Winter Soldier, it's to never listen to the words that come out of Samuel L. Jackson's mouth. John and Samuel L. Jackson's character have an argument and John does the right thing by not listening to that fool. Cut to the part where the characters are in the wild, one of the good guys gets on the other guy's back for a piggyback ride. Then away from danger by swinging with the rope. For most of the scenes in the forest, the characters spend their time in the trees like a tree house. It's just like coming out of a tree house. It's dead of a village, a tree house. There's moments when you think the characters will die to death when they come face to face with the beast in the wild. But they live to see another day because the main guy knows how to talk to the animals. Later on during the dinner between the Labor Day suit man and the good guy's love interest, the two of them discuss reasons why it wasn't such a good idea to take this trip and put innocent people's lives in danger. After this scene, the lady tries to find a way to get back to her love interest. She comes up with a good idea and the men around her underestimate her abilities because she's a girl. We can discuss sexism and survival situations when I get back. She runs for her life and looks like one of the ladies in the Olympics. A hunter becomes the hunted after one of the beasts attacks the man with the gun. Then there's a part where the characters in the while are walking and get surrounded by a flock of animals and it looks dangerous as hell. One of the characters grabs a gun, but guns are less than 20% effective in this movie. So when the one guy uses the gun and nobody dies, he's all like, forget that. I'm just going to use animals instead. Where are you going? Get some friends. They join forces with the beast to kill the bad guys. While the beasts do most of the fighting for the humans, the humans swing around until the fight is over and they end up living happily ever after. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 Reason videos. <gasps>